area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Showtime SP. Showtime SP. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. Now this thing hot. What I'm going to do with this thing here? This thing on fire. I got it for you, Billy Ray. Don't you even worry about it. Don't you even worry about it. It's on the way. It's on the way. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. You get murked. We die tonight. We certainly ride and write. Danny's the first battle rapper to get 30 on stage, go home and get 30 by his wife, bar God. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. Danny Myers. Danny Myers has been the subject of much conversation due to his battle that he just had with Real Sick. Quite obviously, everybody and their mama has got their opinion on whether they felt like he got smoked, he got body bag. I don't really think that's the question because it's not about losing a battle. It's more so about how you lose the battle. And a lot of the people who are talking about it, the fans, the media, are saying this is all predicated to Danny Myers' frequent battles. The fact that he's been battling almost every week for the last year. Now, Danny Myers has put himself in a position where he was building his catalog, he was excelling, everybody was screaming his praises, saying, you know, he's the front runner for champion. Yeah, he's been doing his thing. Everybody was like clamoring for Danny Myers. But as was said before, as which will be said again, that is a recipe for disaster. You cannot maintain battling every week against the best battle rappers in the world because it just catches up to you. Why do you think people like Tay Rod, like Sue Surf, like some of the biggest names, like the Goods, the Hitman Hollers, the, the people who come out and they're sharp, they never choke, they put on? It's because they don't battle every week. It's impossible. It is virtually impossible. There's really no MC, maybe DNA, that could really do this every single week, night in, night out, and have no slips, no, no bad performances. It just does not work that way. So earlier today, I said uh, I was going back and forth with just you know one of the, one of the folks on Twitter, and he said you know if Danny if Danny takes a break, you know people are gonna want to see him things like that, and I said and I quote that nobody wants to see Danny Myers sit out. It's just we don't want to see him battling four to six times a month. It is impossible to facilitate that type of workload mentally. Doing it one month is a stretch, but twelve months is a disaster waiting to happen you know Danny Mike there's just no way like real sick deserve better and that's the reason why and the reason why I can speak on the way the battle went as far as the negative and how he got smoked and things like that was because I was one of the ones that was screaming Danny Myers should be on Gnome I made a blog well Danny Myers deserves to be on Gnome and here's why I was calling his praises every time he wins a battle every time he does his thing when he had the battle versus drugs, who am I? I read the whole round. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the things that I'm talking about. So when I speak your praises, if it doesn't go the way that you should have made it go, it's one of those things where I have the right to give an opinion. And see, the thing is, it's about where it happened at. If you would have choked two, three rounds where a shotgun should have been lost last week, I get it. It's a super fight. We would have been alright with a super fight, but this is gnome. This is your first gnome. This is your first really big card. This is your first opportunity that you're getting to prove all the naysayers, the doubters, the haters, the people that feel like you don't belong here wrong, and you got that opportunity and you fumbled the ball. Now, is your year over? I don't think your year is over. It's only June. You got July, August, the rest of the year left to have good performances. I see that you have Jada Nightwing on a Survivor Series. I'm sure you're going to do your thing. Like, you have no issues doing your thing on some of these smaller cards. But that's the thing. It has to equal up to the big stages. You beat Arsenal 3-0 not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. 
uh, they had a stat, a statistic about Danny Myers and his battling twice within a 14 day span. These guys are very analytical. They're gonna get whatever we need, some, some stats, they're gonna get the stats. And um, let's talk battle rap says, Noam is the fifth time Danny Myers has choked when battling twice in a 14 day span. So all of the, I'm gonna read the battles that he's battled twice in a 14 day span. Franchise, disaster. Twice in a four day span in 2019. Lord Rowe, pass, twice in a two day span, 12 day span in 2019. KD, mad flex. You battled Kevin Durant? You, yo, Brooklyn, we, we, we in trouble right now. He battled them two twice in a, in, a, in a 14 day span. Easy to block captain, Jerry West, choked against Jerry West. Shotgun Shug last week, real sick this week, choked against real sick. So the statistics are there to prove when you're battling twice within a 14 day span, the probability of you choking is high. Like it's it's really a logical, it, it, it's, it's damn near gonna happen when you battle twice within a 14 day span. And they have it all marked out for you. So what I'm saying is, not only did you get real 30 by real sick, you went home, <clears throat> You got 30 by your wife. Danny Myers goes on Twitter. He says, Vicky, Vicky told him, why would you let that man kill you like that? What the F? Danny Myers says, mine, mine wasn't there, babe. Plus it was last minute prep. Vicky said, you let the world down. Danny said, babe, come give me some to make it feel better. I'm going through it. Vicky says, boy, you choke. Take your ass to sleep. 30 again. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. You get murked, we die tonight. We certainly riding right. Danny's the first battle rapper to get 30 on stage, go home and get 30 by his wife, bar God. You gonna get this together. I know you gonna get it together because this is what you do. You do the bounce back. But the thing is, y'all wanna know what happened? He got smoked. It's from Danny Myers. I did this, that slogan came out last year around the past time. When you battle pass and you battle mad flex like the day before, that's where you got smoke came from. I should change this whole thing to the you got smoked show, and we can have a picture of Danny Myers, but then we can have you got smoked as the like a podcast name because you are so inventive. Like you help build this brand by getting smoked. See, Gucci Gotti, right? He's one of the faces of battle rap right now. Him, Rum Nitty, they're young goats. They're putting off for the West Coast. Danny Myers. You are from the West Coast. Do not be the person that's letting your coast down. Like that type of performance, the West Coast is cooking right now. The West Coast is above the East and it's not even close. Look at how many new stars the West is putting down. The East got guys sprinkled here and there. The South got guys sprinkled here and there, but the West has the superstars. The West has the biggest new names. There's a whole tournament and the two people that battled in it are in the same crew from the West Coast. Danny. I'm going to ask you nicely. I seen Smack, Let's Talk Battle Rap again, put out, a, put out a tweet saying that Smack takes blame for Danny Myers. He's overworked him. You ain't overworked Danny Myers. Danny Myers overworked himself. He could easily say no. He could easily turn down some battles. He's taking a lot of one round battles here, there, and everywhere. He's battling all across the globe. It's not you. He battled on URL twice in a month, but he battled 17 times on a bunch of other leagues. He's got Reed Dollars coming up. He's got... Jada Nightwing coming up. Not Jada Nightwing. He got he do got Jada Nightwing. He's got J400 block. If he battled, if he never battled J400 block in this lifetime, who would care? No, that's a, he takes a bunch of non-important battles that nobody cares about. And you can't get to the number one spot by just battling a hundred times in a year. Like it doesn't matter. It's quality over quantity. If you take a hundred battles in a year and there's a bunch of bunch of nobodies, myself, Direct, Taco Bell, Tony, Microwave Manny, Showtime SP. Nobody gives a fuck about them battles because you battling just random people all over the place. You need to find your creative space, get there, stay there. Find your creative space. Gnome should have been treated like your baby. You should have wanted to, the biggest stage, you should have wanted to put on in that environment, in that setting. You should have wanted to elevate your career. You should have wanted to elevate your stock not go out there and put that performance up. If it was up to me, if it was me, maybe a year or two from now, somewhere down the road, I had real sick me and I had to go back outside the backyard and fight again. Y'all have to have that again. 
because he deserved better than that. He didn't even want that. Like, he didn't want that. Respect to him, but he didn't want that. Because now he knows that the battle is less about what he did and more so about what you did. There was even people still saying that you got the first round. I'm not giving you none. I ain't giving you none. You know how it goes. I'll probably call you in a week or so and we could chum it up about what you got going on as far as that. But I know from the material that I heard, I know you had better. I know you had material. I know you did. But the thing is, knowing that you had it and being able to deliver it when it matters, it's two different things, Papa. So, back in the lab, get it together. You gotta start building from the ground up. What I will say is this, I do respect the fact that Danny Myers, even when he's under scrutiny, he takes it well. He's in the comments. He takes the good with the bad, and he's one of those people, you can't knock him for that because he does take the good with the bad. He doesn't get emotional. He's not gonna block you. He's not gonna not respond to you. He's not gonna not pick up the phone when you call because he lost the battle. That takes, that's very thick skin, and that takes a lot of, um, you know, it takes a lot of self-reflection to do that. But we love what you're doing, dog. But you don't have to do this every week. The world will make it. You do not have to battle every week. You're not a battle rap Superman. You don't have to answer every time the bat signal is in the air, dog. We will be all right without you for a month. You know, John John and Don battled Ace. I mean, he ain't battling again until so probably Sue Sir. You cannot do this every week. Battle rap is not like basketball. It's more like boxing. More like MMA. There's nobody in MMA fighting every week. There's nobody in boxing, boxing every week. You have to take some time because the mind is a muscle. You can't sit there and you out hustling your muscle right now, but you know what? That's paid content. You got to pay for that. I can't give you that type of game. You out hustling your muscle, my Gs. So what I need you to do is buckle in, get this shit together, and you're going to be all right.